Hello, I'm Dave and Hiskey, and you're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel. In the video today, we're looking at why, when stating the time, it's common to add o'clock. The practice of saying a clock is simply a remnant of times when clocks weren't very prevalent and people told time by various means depending on where they were and what references were available. Generally, of course, the sun was used as a reference point with solar time being slightly different than clock time. Clocks divide the time evenly, whereas by solar time, hour lengths vary somewhat based on a variety of factors like what season it is. Thus, to distinguish the fact that one was referencing a clock's time rather than something like a sundial, as early as the 14th century, one would say something like, it's six of the clock, which later got slurred down to six o'clock sometime around the 16th or 17th centuries. In those centuries, it was also somewhat common to just drop the o altogether and just say something like six clock. Using the form of a clock particularly increased in popularity around the 18th century when it became common to do a similar slurring in the names of many such things such as Will of the Wisp from Will of the Wisp, stemming from a legend of an evil blacksmith named Will Smith with wisp meaning torch, and Jack o Lantern from Jack of the Lantern which originally just meant Man of the Lantern, with Jack at the time being a generic name for any man. Later, either this or the Irish legend of Stingy Jack got this name transferred to referring to carved pumpkins with lit candles inside. While today with clocks being ubiquitous and few people, if anybody, telling direct time by the sun, it isn't necessary in most cases to specify we are referencing time from clocks, the practice of saying a clock has stuck around anyway. So thanks for watching this video, if you liked it please click that like button below and consider sharing it with anyone you think might be interested. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for many more videos like this. Finally, if you've got something you've always wondered about and you'd like us to do a deep dive on, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching.